According to recent data that has just been revealed within the past two days, hydrogen refueling stations in America don't really work. I mean, the problem is not just the fact that they're nearly always broken, it's also the fact that um, they don't have enough hydrogen. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. Now, you'd kind of think, right, that with the world producing so much hydrogen, everyone's talking about it, everyone's saying we're going to be making green hydrogen, blah, 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 blah. It's not really happening that much yet. But the truth is the world does manufacture a lot of hydrogen. Unfortunately, most of it isn't actually green. But still, you would think there'd be plenty of hydrogen for the very small number of hydrogen-powered vehicles in California. And I'm sure there's a few outside of California as well. But, I mean, it doesn't make sense that there would be, but um, I'm sure there is. That's it. There's almost no hydrogen refueling stations outside of California. There's only a couple of them. In California, though, there's a fair few of them. And as there should be, the reason I say there should be is because each hydrogen refueling station can only refuel on average 50 vehicles. Imagine if a gas station was like that. Imagine if an electric car charging station was like that. After 50 charges, no more electricity, have to wait for the truck to come and pump it in for you. Imagine, even a gas station, imagine if 50 cars come along, no more gas, got to wait for a truck to come. I mean, that's the situation hydrogen, hydrogen refueling stations are in. But what's even worse than that is what Clean Technica have just revealed. California's hydrogen stations are broken more often than they're actually working at a 15% capex per year. Now, one of the other challenges, of course, with hydrogen vehicles is that they have a higher cost of maintenance. In fact, it's extremely high, higher cost than diesel, uh, gasoline, petrol powered vehicles, and of course, much higher cost of maintenance than electric vehicles. In fact, I made a video reporting on how much it costs to change your hydrogen refueling tank. If you have issues with it, if it has leaks, uh, you don't want to leak in your hydrogen refueling tank, I can tell you that right now. It's very, very expensive. Someone got a quote, it was more than $100,000. That was a quote directly from Hyundai or Hyundai for the Nexo. Anyhow, California fleet maintenance reports show that hydrogen fuel cell buses across three transit organizations and a combined eight years of operation had maintenance costs over 50% higher than diesel buses on average for the same distances traveled. Now, if you're wondering what vehicles are actually using the hydrogen refueling stations that are often broken in the United States, they are Toyota Mirais and Hyundai Nexos, or Hyundai Nexos. Now, you can't buy um, the other, there used to be a Honda version as well, but you can't buy those anymore. The only fuel cell vehicles you can buy in the United States right now are actually Toyota Mirais, that's it. And they're quite expensive. I mean, they cost about three times more than a Toyota Camry. Now, when people bought those vehicles, they probably believed the hype. And that was this, 110 new hydrogen refueling stations would be built in California. Now, that's never gonna happen, I don't think. There's now 55 of them, but that count has remained the same for a number of years. So no more have been built. Some of them have actually gone out of operation. Now, Clean Technica says that refueling pumps for light vehicles are slow, as in for hydrogen powered cars are slow, dispensing an average of 0.93 kilos of hydrogen per minute, uh, meaning it takes five minutes to fill up a Toyota Mirai from empty. That compares to gas, which pumps at 10 gallons per minute, with a gallon being the energy equivalent of a kilogram of hydrogen. Now, to give you some context here, that would mean a truck would take well, 50 to 100 kilograms or more of hydrogen, meaning it would take about 90 minutes to refuel a hydrogen powered truck. Now, when you talk about a hydrogen powered semi, it would take closer to two and a half hours. Now, amazingly, across those 55 hydrogen refueling stations in, the, in California, 540,000 kilograms of hydrogen were dispensed to over 13,000 hydrogen vehicles in California. Incredibly, California has more hydrogen vehicles on its roads than any other country in the world, even including China. However, that's still only 236 vehicles per station. <laughs> it's incredible. 236 vehicles per station. You can see how hydrogen refueling stations are just not a great economic idea. So what does that equate to? Well, Clean Technica says that 540,000 kilograms in the last two quarters 
is only 54 kilograms per station per day on average, assuming three kilograms or 60% refueling per vehicle. Each station sees only 18 vehicles per day, 18 per day. That means they are refueling every 13 days on average. And the average fuel cell vehicle is being driven 15 miles a day, which is actually more than what I expected. However, unfortunately, most of these hydrogen refueling stations are, are usually broken. Apparently these 55 stations have seen 11,700 hours of maintenance over the last six months. That's about 212 maintenance issues per station over the last six months. 212 in six months. I mean, imagine owning one of these places. How stressful would that be? And it means that um, on average, they're being fixed or for around about 1.2 hours every single day. And that would mean that they're down apparently more than 50% of the time. Now, of course, if you compare that data to how often electric car chargers are broken, uh, if they're not Tesla chargers, well, maybe it's similar. I don't know. I mean, it depends on which chargers you're talking about. But if you compare it to, say, Tesla supercharging network, which is on average up more than 90%, the difference is massive. And of course, if you compare it to how often gasoline powered um, petrol stations, gas stations, how often their pumps are malfunctioning, they are sometimes, but it's nowhere near the number that we're seeing for hydrogen refueling stations. Now, to me, in my opinion, this is just another reason why hydrogen, hydrogen vehicles, hydrogen cars and trucks are very unlikely to take off at any point in the next decade. Now, a lot of countries disagree with me. A lot of countries are investing billions of dollars into hydrogen production today. And you never know. I mean, I could be wrong. Or I could be right. What are your thoughts? What do you think? Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.